Does your tractor suffer from jumpy clutch, also known as premature clutch engagement? If it does, this video is for y'all. This is Nick Pomeroy here with PR Equipment with stores in Canton and Currens, Texas. Hey, today I was I, I, I had a customer call and he had a, a clutch that was out, like, out of calibration and I got to thinking some folks might not know that they can do the calibration themselves without any EDT tooling or anything like that. So I thought it would make a good video. We can also send you the procedure. There's a short little one page procedure we can send out as well. But I thought I'd make a quick little video even though it's like 100 million degrees here in Texas and this cab is heating up quickly. Uh, a couple things to know about this procedure. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'll walk you through the steps. I'll, I'll do it once and then I'll do it again maybe from the side view and kind of hopefully let you all see what that looks like there. But what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna key on, uh, not tractor on, so just the key on. Um, we're gonna depress the clutch all the way, we're gonna pull up on our shuttle lever, and we're gonna raise up on that clutch pedal very slowly, and it's gonna beep, beep, beep uh, at you, and then it's gonna stop beeping, but you're gonna keep letting up on the clutch very slowly, and then when it starts beeping, you're just gonna let it all the way up. And you're, then you're gonna let down on the shuttle lever and you're gonna key the tractor off for five seconds, and that's gonna calibrate that clutch pedal. And so I'm gonna do it real fast while I'm sweating in here. So key on, clutch pedal down, I'm going to pull up on the shuttle lever, it's going to beep and I'm going to let up really slowly. So it's going to stop and I'm going to keep letting up, keep letting up, keep letting up, keep letting up real slowly, real slowly, real slowly, real slowly, real slowly, until it, dang, failed. That's the trick to this thing uh, that I've noticed is you've got to be super slow letting that clutch up. So. Um, I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna recycle this thing, and we're gonna we're gonna do this clutch calibration one more time. So I'm gonna kill, the, let the tractor be set off for about five, ten seconds or something like that. We're gonna key it on, clutch down. Once the beeping stops, we're gonna pull up on our shuttle lever. It's gonna beep fast. We're gonna go very, very, very slowly. It's gonna stop beeping. We're gonna keep going slowly, keep going slowly. And it's gonna beep and we're gonna let all the way up off on it. We're gonna shut the tractor off for five seconds. Keeping in mind, I had to go very, very slowly. I'm not very good at doing things slowly, but I had to go very, very slowly. So it's a good little learning experience. You guys got to see what one looks like that failed and we're gonna do one that, that, that works. And so now our clutch is gonna be adjusted. Oh, park brake has to be off for that procedure. I should have mentioned that earlier. Make sure your park brake is down. Let's see how smooth our clutch engagement is now that we've done our engagement part. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So, uh, clutch on this one is calibrated, and I really like how that feels. So, um, it's going to fix probably 99, 95% of your issues. I'm not going to say there's not possibility you might not have another issue. Uh, there could be a, a solenoid valve or something that's maybe giving you a little trouble, but uh, the calibration will fix a lot of these problems. So let's do it one more time from a side profile. Um, I'll let it cool down just a little bit and we'll take a look at it from the side and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna be turning the key on. I've got my park brake off. Um, once it starts beeping, clutch all the way down. I'm gonna pull up on my shuttle lever, wait five seconds till we get a beep. And we're gonna release it very slowly and we're gonna keep releasing it slowly once the beep stops. We're gonna release it the rest of the way once the once the beeping comes back on. Key the tractor off for five seconds, and you can see how well good of a job you did calibrating your clutch. So if y'all have any questions about that, if there's anything we can do to help, you can let us know. But um, that is the way we're gonna calibrate the clutch, um, and hopefully that's gonna take care of your jumpy clutch issue. Uh, as always, I'm Nick Pomeroy here with PR Equipment in Currens and Canton, Texas. We want to be your next Massey Ferguson dealer. Uh, we think we provide better service than anyone else, um, and we're here to here to help you um, along the way. So, if y'all need any tractors, hay equipment, sprayers, uh, shredders, any implements at all, uh, we're here to help. Talk to y'all later. Thanks.